so me on that island. On today's special episode of Sail Away, we review the Himaway Cruiser electric bike. Join us as we drag it out, throw it together, and put it through its paces. We've been wondering about these rugged, go-anywhere electric fat bikes and how they might apply to the cruising life. After 30 days with this one, we'll give you the lowdown. Hey guys, welcome to a not normal episode of Sail Away. And today we're talking about the Himaway Cruiser electric bike. They approached us a while back to see if we might want to review their bike. And this is one of those things that we've seen gaining popularity on other cruising boats and around marinas and things like that. And in the last few years with the incredible improvements in lithium batteries, there's a lot of these type of things popping up. The scooters, the one wheels, and now electric bikes, which electric bikes have been around for a while, but not like this. And so we decided, yeah, we would love to review it, get it out, test it, see how it is, partially because we kind of are curious to see if this is something that might work for ourselves on a cruising boat or for others that are doing something similar to us. Yeah, so we um, have not necessarily been in the market for an electric bike, um, but have been interested to see how we could maybe function with one on the boat, if it is something that would make sense while living aboard. We don't have a car normally, so would this be something that would um, help us in the long run improve yeah. our life? And while we're here in the States for a bit, it gave us a good platform to test this thing out because we're tied up to a dock, which is not normal for us. Uh, and we have a, a van at our disposal, so we could take this thing around and try it out on a lot of different terrains, which we did. It's been everything here from freezing cold, rainy, foggy, uh, sunny like today. It's the first beautiful day we've been able to sit on the front of the boat in a while. We got beaches, we've got trails. We decided we would test it out on everything we could find. And for starters, obviously you gotta take delivery. This thing was shipped very, very nicely and very quickly. I can't even get on there. No, don't don't do on. that. Okay, well, that's not how you not how you write it. I think there's just a lot of pieces. That's probably why they put it in the green. Well actually I think it's probably not that many pieces. As you can see, it came in a nice big box not a lot to put together but it is a complex bike so it did take us a little while to get all the pieces parts uh, in the right places and they do have a website that you're supposed to watch them put together oh, really? first. yeah you're supposed to watch the video of them putting it together professionally which we did not well like many of our videos so. what not to do is yeah. as big of a help as what to do yes experts on e-bikes, but this thing looks to be really, really nice quality. Pretty sweet looking piece of gear. So put it together. Get at it. Yeah, put my knife down. Alright, here's your assembly tool. Start assembly. Wow. I know, it's intense. 
pop quiz for you guys at home. What's wrong with this picture? How's that fish net looking? Everything is facing this way. The whole, the whole goose oh. thing is turned around and then this goes on exactly like this. For, for those of you unfamiliar with uh, bike construction, we're just trying to show you what not to do. Aside from that glaringly obvious snafu, we had no other real stumbling blocks. The front wheel was the only other large part to connect, and it connected just like any other bike wheel. Aside from that, it was just fenders, lights, etc., all very straightforward. Eh, one other hiccup, but not a big one. and the battery slides in with an easy click, keys needed to remove it. Okay. One, wait, ooh, ooh. Okay. We're going. It's zero. Zero miles an hour, but it's gone 0.6 somehow. It's showing full charge, so. Cool. Probably should uh, do the rest of this somewhere where we can't Outside. ride through a glass window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get on that thing. You got this. It looks it looks really kind of small for you. There needs to be a petite version. What is that on there? I think the seat needs an adjustment too. You got a little bit of a. Uh, oh, my booty. Uh, yes, yeah, it's looking oh. a little invasive. I can't actually. At the moment. I can't actually turn it. We'll work on that. Next step: spend about thirty days getting to know this new steed. While we've been here. We have gotten a lot of rain, and we were kind of wondering how this thing would deal with that. It's a bike, and a bike you would expect can handle puddles and water, but it's an electric bike. And <laughs> frankly, we didn't have a particular way to cover this thing while we've had it. We've had it for almost a month. So it sat out in the rain a good bit. It sat out in fog. It sat out in near freezing temperatures. And Rivers and I took it for a pretty healthy spin in the puddles and the rain and on the trail. And we're off. Wet conditions, no problem. And with this bike, we haven't really been able to store it inside. It sat out in a lot of rain, um, but that's a good way to test it out. So far, it's had no problems whatsoever. Okay. I'll try to be careful. Mm-hmm. I see. All right, let's go ride. Brakes even work well. Sometimes on bikes you get that issue with uh, with water and rain and braking. And with the big disc brakes, it's just not a problem. Now I'm braking with one hand right now. Boom. Yeah. I'm just telling you that I might have to check. just change my pants. <laughs> I think I might too. I know mine are already wet too. That's because it's raining. I don't know if you noticed. 
Now, of course, Rivers wants an electric bike, too. I don't blame him. By the way, he uh, fits pretty good on the cargo rack. So while we're here at this dock, it's actually a really far walk to the parking lot. And we have discovered that the electric bike is like A plus for getting us to the parking lot and back in record time. Zeke is uh, getting a lot more walks because of that. It's uh, really easy to get him to shore, even not even to shore, just to land from the dock to the land. That he doesn't good. ride the bike. <laughs> Not yet. We haven't taught him that. Maybe soon. Yeah, being such a long walk uh, and such a fun thing to get there with, there's not as much pause when you think, eh, does Zeke need maybe to go to shore? He doesn't like to pee on the dock, and so he really likes to go all the way to shore if possible, and it's almost a quarter mile. So he's gotten a lot of exercise with just us running him back and forth bike and around those trails that are out there in the parking lot so it's been a very good dog walking bike <laughs> and of course we are in South Carolina with some beautiful beaches only minutes away from us and so we couldn't resist taking it out and getting it real dirty and riding it around in the surf and the sand thing does not even think about sand man it's like nothing <laughs> It's important to mention that even though this is a really big solid bike, I'm 6'2 and it fits me fine, it also adjusts down plenty low for Lauren as well, and she's 5'1". And there you have it, there is the Himaway Cruiser. This is not the only bike in their line. If you go to their website, you'll see there's a few other models on there as well. This is one of the nicer ones. And my personal opinion, it's awesome. I, we're, we're trying to be as objective as we can <laughs> about it, but I fell in love with the thing the second we got it out of the box. Yeah. Uh, it's put together really, really well. Everything seems extremely sturdy. As you saw in those clips, <laughs> Rivers and I rode it around, which I'm sure that's not what you're really supposed <laughs> to do. There was nothing that we threw at it that it even blinked at. Hills are not a problem. The ramp up this dock is really steep sometimes, and it is not even a question. It doesn't slow down hardly. It's really, really capable. And I thought it was extremely easy to, to figure out. As Lauren pointed out, we didn't follow any instructions we just hopped on the bike and started and as a bike it's surprisingly not too tough to ride because it's a big heavy bike it operates smoothly it's easy to shift it's easy to learn how to operate the shifters the brakes are amazing that's just another thing I was worried about in the rain the brakes don't even pause in the rain it's got caliper uh, disc brakes on front and back and Thing will stop on a dime no matter what the conditions are. That put together with 
how fast the thing is really surprised me. It'll do 23 miles an hour, 23. which is kind of crazy. If you're commuting back and forth to work, if you're in that sort of setting, my gosh, I, this thing gets you there as fast as a motorcycle in like downtown traffic. <laughs> if there's one thing from our perspective that is a little bit of a, a drawback or a hurdle, it's a big, big bike. And so you have to have a place to store it. And depending on what kind of boat you have, that might not be a problem. Especially if you spend a lot of time at docks. This bike is fantastic. You get it off the boat once, get it set up and ready to go, and then it's waiting there for you whenever you're ready. In 30 days, we rode this thing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We charged it once. Now, I will say that if you're living a lot at anchorages like we do, it could be kind of tough for any of these bikes. Getting one in and out of the dinghy every single time you use it would be cumbersome. We will continue trying this thing out just because once you get on it and ride it a little bit, it's really addictive. <laughs> it really increases the distances that you can travel. If you're gonna throw a backpack on your shoulders and go to the grocery, which in some cases is a couple miles away, and a long way to walk with a lot of stuff. For this one particularly, personally, I can't picture one built cleaner or better or more solid, uh, especially for the price. I, I think it's an exceptional bike. I love it. Yeah. yeah, so we read that it could get 18 miles out of it there and back on one charge. That seems to be true, if not more. The only real problem truly is that it, it's, it's like 60 pounds. Yeah. So it's, a, it, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot to get on and off a boat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you were to be stationary somewhere for a, a while, three months, yeah, four even a months. week or two, it'd be worth getting right. it off the dock. As off long, the boat. yeah, as long as you have somewhere to store it where you're not putting it back and forth on the boat each time. I think that is the biggest problem: is that the dinghy ride between the boat and shore. Yeah, it would be um, be kind of a big deal. So there are definitely situations that I think would be perfect to have the electric bike. And like, if you're in a trawler doing the Great Loop. I think it would be amazing. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. I think if you are somebody who goes from marina to marina and stays in marinas for a long time, 100%. Like as long as you can figure out where to store it on the boat, mm -hmm. like you're Put a set. good cover on it. You can take the front wheel off super easy to kind of collapse it down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. If you're an RVer, I think it would be oh my gosh, super yeah. good. Like you don't have to have a car attached to your RV to get around. That would be right. so nice if you were just a live aboard literally just living in a marina which mm -hmm. oh my gosh yeah 100 yeah, absolutely we wouldn't we wouldn't need a car but like this would yeah, be so you could get so many places could, like from a lot of marinas yeah so there's definitely and then back to just places. back just to like land uses if you are close enough to work and you want to commute to work a different way wow god this thing would be amazing for that if you live near beaches and you want to ride this thing on the beach Sand is no problem. Leaves are no problem. Trail riding would be a blast. We only took it in that little trail we have here, but this thing would be capable of much bigger, more complicated trails than what we took it on. Really, really versatile. And so if you want a vehicle that can take you farther than you're capable of on a normal bike, I think this is a pretty good option. And this particular bike, I, I give it a hard thumbs up. So, if you are in the market for an electric bike and you decide you want to take a look at these, right here below is our affiliate link. You'll get $50 off. But if you're watching this as we've released this video, Valentine's Day is coming up and they have a Valentine's Day promotion also. This one is huge. $200 off some of their models, $150 off others. The links for those are also there. If you've ever wondered about the electric bikes, and want to take a look at some really, really good models, go check these guys out. Save a few bucks. I think that's it. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Ride hard. Put it away wet. But don't, you probably want to dry it off a little bit.
<laughs> rinse it. Rinse it. Make sure you rinse all that salt off. With fresh water, <laughs> then either dry it or put it away wet.